सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग नेटवर्क नेटवर्क ऑटोमेशन नेटवर्क इम्प्लीमेंटेशन यूजिंग सॉफ्टवेयर डिफाइंड नेटवर्किंग ऑल दीज आर दी कॉन्सेप्ट विच नेसेसिटेट सम काइंड ऑफ रूल लैंग्वेज शुड बी देयर टू इम्प्लीमेंट दी पॉलिसीज डिफाइंड बाई दी नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वीड लुक एट अ वेल नोन पॉलिसी फ्रेमवर्क फॉर द पॉलिसी ड्रिवन नेटवर्क वीड लुक एट सम नोटेशन दी प्रोटोकॉल्स यूज एंड दी एग्जाम्पल्स द इंटरनेट इंजीनियरिंग टास्क फोर्स केम अप विद एन आइडिया टू इम्प्लीमेंट दी पॉलिसीज विच आर प्रोविजन बाय द एंड यूजर्स इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ सर्विस लेवल अग्रीमेंट्स एंड टू basically enforce them on the network elements almost 25 years have passed and a lot of work has gone into the policy based network management uh, these uh, initiatives uh, over the last so many years have resulted into various scripting uh, languages which are based on xml like uh, uh, markup languages until lately the interest in a uh, integrated network where the control plane and the forwarding plane could not be separated the interest was not that vigorous however a rejuvenated interest came up when software defined networking came in because we could change the device behavior we could implement the automation and have a fine grained control on the uh, device behavior the policy based network management is primarily based on a framework that comprises various entities known as the policy enforcement point policy decision point the repository to, to store policy enforcement point is the network element that takes the policies from the policy decision point the policy decision point assesses which policy is most suitable to be extracted out of the uh, repository to be handed over to the policy enforcement point there are some considerations for example the uh, user uh, profile the network resources and the overall uh, specifications and some user input coming from the management console these entities are supported in terms of interaction through some protocols the most well known protocol is uh, cops uh that is the uh, common open policy service it is used to relay and uh, exchange the information between these network elements um for example a uh, policy enforcement point makes a request to the policy decision point which replies uh to the uh, policy enforcement point then a consistent implementation of the policy enforcement points in terms of a specific policy or a rule has to be synchronized across all the network and uh, some kind of uh, live um, keep alive interaction has to be there to ensure reliability of all these entities that is pdp pep and the repository then we also need a description language a policy framework definition language to actually carve out design and implement the policies then we need a lightweight directory access protocol uh, to retrieve the policy information from the repository uh, this is the overall diagram we see uh, we have the uh, uh, policy management console uh, that prescribes certain uh, policies or rules uh, through the policy framework description language uh, then we have policy decision point that uh, uh, takes the requests from the policy enforcement point and then uh, using the cops protocol forwards the decisions as per the rules provided by the policy management manipulation console uh, the policy decision uh, point uses the directory access protocol to access the policy repository once the policy enforcement point has the appropriate decisions it would implement those decisions on to the network elements the policy framework description language is essentially a list of uh if and then uh, statements these uh, are kind of rules which have a scope covering the temporal behavior of the network elements uh the resource reservation uh, across these network elements 
uh, the user profile dependent uh, decisions, uh, the nature of the application, the port number, and the uh, latency jitter requirements of the applications, uh, the addressing information uh, dependent uh, decision making, uh, and then the um, brokering or the uh, communication related uh, uh, decisions, and then uh, the uh, uh, deployment related decisions. For instance, uh, usually we have uh, one web server and a client, but then that particular web server could be hosted on, on cloud, or there could be a, a server farm that's uh, implementing the complete web implementation. So it means the policy framework description language will contain or encompass the uh, features providing all these scopes. Let's take a couple of examples. The first example is as simple as this statement. Think about an initiative. If someone is interested in uh, accessing an internet draft from the IETF website, so if that particular draft is available on a certain local mirror, then the document should be downloaded from that particular mirror. So we see we have uh, the first line that says if the host is equal to itf.org, that is the destination uh, host, and if the uh, path is this URI, Internet Drafts, uh, then the action has to be uh, the host would be replaced with um, this NEC website, uh, nec.de, it's a German website. And then the path would also be replaced by uh, a URI. Now, this is a very simple Im implementation of uh, if then implementation once a redirection is required. As the second example, let's look at uh, the uh, organizational behavior uh, implementation that uh, within an organization, if someone's listening to music during the office hours, then those uh, users should be denied the service. It is as simple as if users in a certain community comprising a couple of people and the time is within working days and uh, the time is within the working hours and the requested object has a, a file that has real audio file format, then the user should be denied. As simple as that. The third example is regarding resource reservation. Uh, that is, if there is a, a particular video application, a video conferencing, which is based on resource reservation protocol, which is the IETF standard for integrated services architecture within a subgroup of machines. Uh, so each of these group members can reserve up to 500 kilobytes of the bandwidth for the video stream to run because we all know there are different kinds of applications. Each application requires a different uh, data rate. So the uh, implementation is as simple as if the application equals um, video conferencing and the sender, that is someone who's making a request, is within uh, these IP addresses, uh, then uh, and if the reservation request is uh, less than or equal to 500 kilobytes, then it should be permitted. You see, uh, these rules are so intuitive and human readable. Uh, the reference that I've taken for uh, this uh, uh, module is a rule language for network policies. It was a position paper back in 1999. Uh, C&C was an initiative by uh, NEC Japan. Uh, they have a European office product development laboratories. Uh, the position paper was published there uh, by Jan Niklish, and it's a very well cited paper. Even papers as latest as 2020 and 2021 cite this um, reference paper. 